Okay. <laughs> I seem to... I, I'm in this weird uh, situation where I've had runs that go... Like I said, oh, you can only get either three wins or seven wins in the last... I don't know how many. I've seemed to manage this weird five to six range that is supposedly impossible to do, and yet I've done it. I don't know if that means that I'm that I'm underperforming or that I'm overperforming bad teams or I'm underperforming good teams. I'm hoping it's, you know, the other way around, but whatever. I mean, it's the holiday season. It's too cold. It's too hot. Oh, this food tastes bad. Whatever. <laughs> snipe a pig. Snipe a pig. Snipe a pig. Yes. That's a win. Though usually my I don't I feel like the uncles aren't usually that fussy. I think it tends to be the aunts more in my experience personally. We have three potential levels for for next round. I almost said tomorrow. I don't know why I went there, but it's not tomorrow. It would be for the next next turn here. But snipe the horse, move the other horse to the front. I don't know if it matters much, but. We're unfortunately going to draw. I figured the two snipes with the mosquito were going to be better than having an extra 2-3. Maybe that's not correct. Huh. I'll take the toad for this turn because we have the double mosquito snipe, but I'm definitely keeping the capybara. That, the capybara, I think, was the secret um, help to getting us to that uh, strange, four, like, 4, 5, 6 range. Because it means, like, the units we're trying to tw switch to will have some modicum of status. As opposed to, uh, oh, are we? We're losing. Look, I don't know how it all worked out, but we lost. <laughs> so, I guess that's what's happening. Uh-huh. Don't I just don't feel like Panda makes any sense this week. I've it's not that I've seen I've seen some people use it, but it's not enough that's really convinced me to go that direction. I mean a pug would mean the mosquito snipes twice, which isn't that exciting. Uh I guess I would rather have the. I would rather have it be this way. I don't. I just don't. I don't really think this is a good idea. But I still did it. So, what does that make me? I don't know. Okay. We're getting a, a level next turn. I don't think the team is that great. But the nasty millionaires. Change that to a B, and all of a sudden, I'm on your side. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. All right, we, we can't win this, right? We can win this. We can draw this. Never mind. We can draw this. Take that, millionaire class. Even though, like, like millionaire is still a lot, but it's also not as much as it would have been, like, 20 years ago. So... Any, whatever. Anyway, um, I think I'm down to take the giraffe. The question is, what am I getting rid of? We don't really need the pug. I know it's like we're almost leveled, which is sort of interesting. At the same time, am I actually that interested? It would be cool because then, like, oh, you get like a walrus and it's level two now, and that's gonna be crazy. Or a turtle, even maybe. I think I probably am just supposed to. I think I'm gonna get rid of the seahorse. And then, like, I kind of want to take the worm. But we've tried that, and we know it's not very good. So instead, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna buff my level one toad. And I'm gonna roll. Clownfish. And it's two of them? It's definitely not an early clownfish, but it's not a late clownfish. Give me a third one right now. But that's also good with that, because then it's going to get stats. I don't know what's going on now. I'm going to end. 
Maybe we get oh. Maybe we get rid of the capybara now. I don't know if that's crazy or not. Okay. Hmm. See, this is a an example of the pug being useful. <laughs> We lose so badly. Okay. Level two guinea pig or whatever you're... Is that a guinea pig or a gerbil? I think it's a guinea pig, right? Okay. Oh, game's lagging. Thanks. Thanks for that. I'm waiting until next turn because... Maybe we get a clownfish. We did not, but, uh, one experience ahead, and then it'll buff you, which you buff yourself. Sure. That seems like that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to me, sort of, which I'll, uh, sort of is good enough to me. Aren't you going to buff yourself by, like, four, aren't you? Yeah, the 10, 10. Too bad there's a 13, whatever, there. We still win! Okay. Five health. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's not the one with the hairy chest. And obviously, I would have rather had a leveled up clownfish first. I know I've been buffing the toad for two turns. But what about... There's two, in my mind, there's two things to do here. It's either sell the mosquito, buy the rhino, or sell the toad, buy the rhino. <laughs> Both of them I'm buying the rhino. And then the giraffe will bump buff the rhino and then somebody. The pug will make him level two, which will then also buff the rhino, which seems pretty good. The toad and the mosquito have been working together to, you know, throw around weakness. But you've also already leveled before the clownfish was around. Where the toad still can. So I think for that reason, uh, sharks, I'm in. Am I in enough to pineapple you? Though? That seems a little bit of a... You know what? Screw it. I'm going in. I'm going in. Pug levels up the rhino. It's going to get plus four. It's going to be a... 10 something it's gonna get a kill and then it's gonna snipe a beetle and then it's gonna snipe a pug and then it's gonna snipe a well that also okay that also and then that also vindicated <laughs> immediately vindicated let's go okay it's gonna it's gonna be like that every time right every time it's gonna go like that um <laughs> so here's the thing we've the the combo here is still good and maybe it'll be able to carry us enough for the giraffe buffs to compound. I'll take it. I mean, whatever, man. I'll take it. I was I was looking for a capybara thing to pop, and it didn't. And I was like, oh, wait. I don't have that anymore. Where's the clownfish? Where are you? Okay. Okay. It didn't register my, my button, I guess. I'm looking at this toad. I just keep eyeing this toad, and I'm like, maybe we should get rid of that guy. If there's plenty. I did. Did I do? I didn't do anything this turn, did I? I rolled all ten gold. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Oh no, I bought a giraffe. Okay, at least I did something. Uh, how big are you getting? I'm still bigger. This is uh, ooh. snipe, 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 snipe. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. Is there a better feeling? I don't know if there's a better feeling than that. I'm not going level 3 pug, I don't think. I would rather just the rhino level up naturally. Because if the rhino levels up naturally and then you get buffed by that, then I'm sort of down to get rid of the clownfish at that point. And even the pug, really. I'm below, I've been buffing you, so maybe not. I don't think making you a level 3 is going to be where I want to be. Three, two, five, three, three. So we, the, we lose out on a big, on this being plus, you get plus two, which gives you plus two, and then you get plus two again. But after like two turns of poodle, it's the same thing, and we're at five. Okay. 
Okay. I, at first, I was like, well, maybe I try to get a clownfish first, but then I was like, oh, it doesn't make sense to do that. So, I will hold this. I'll roll once. Do this first. And then this. Throw you in the back to take a shark, a, a, a croc snipe. And then, yeah. The toad still kind of works, because as long as the rhino gets one kill, then it'll snipe and apply weakness to something else. Mm, are you going to hit the toad, or... Oh, you're going to hit this guy. You're still getting a snipe. Yes. That's great. I Honestly, that's still good. That's still good that it got rid of the weakness. Or they got rid of the uh, melon. Five wins. We're in the weird range now again. So we have five, three, two, four. So we could get a... Sorry, five. So we get a tier four or a tier one or a tier six. So one or six. Okay, okay. Sorry, no, one, four, or six. Yes. Which I, I was looking at the skunk, I realized that. The lynx is interesting. The husky is interesting for everyone but the rhino. I think I'm gonna pass, though. I'm hoping to get a poodle. Imagine. I think as much as I was interested in, in lemoning the rhino, I think I'm actually just going to give it to the pug because that way it's still like now two units have some utility. The snipes on the rhino I don't think are going to be that good anymore. They were good in that like slight position in the midish game, but now do you get to shoot your stuff before that? No. Which is unfortunate. I would have liked you to get your snipes before the weakness applied, but I suppose it makes sense. Hmm. Do we stick to the script, or do we buy a walrus? <laughs> Wait. If a rhino has death touch, please someone explain this to me in comments or whatever. If we, if you give a rhino death touch, if you give a dog a cookie, if you give a rhino death touch, you give a dog, if you give a rhino a peanut, and he then shoots, does the shot carry the death touch? That's 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 like a Magic the Gathering interaction, but I don't know if that works here. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm not gonna go for that. I would melon the toad. And then, you know what, I guess I'm just applying things to everybody, so. This was our buying, buying items round. I'm, every, as every turn goes by, I'm a little less, oh man. But you gotta snipe that. No, no, the fucking. Okay, okay. We can actually still win. No! What happened? Am I dead? Okay, we're alive. I, I didn't lost track. The mel- He had too much damage, so he went through the melon! That's what it was. I was so confused. Okay. That makes sense, actually. I think keeping the giraffe just to help speed these guys up makes a lot of sense, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do that. And then I guess at this point, you go back here? I mean, both of them, it, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Do I want to change the pug stats with a lollipop? Not enough to actually spend money on a lollipop. Plus three and minus one. No. I guess I would buy a taco. I don't love it, but... Because health is the harder. We would have had a level three pug and a half, but all right. Somehow we have not been able to find a toad. Please, please, man. Level 2 Poodle. Pretty decent sized units. You're not gonna kill. Oh, you're gonna... No! <laughs> okay, at least you get traded. Oh, no. Oh, they have a huge bison in the back. 
Oh. How? How does this keep happening to me? How am I getting this 5-6 win range? It shouldn't be happening. I, I swear I keep getting these matchups. Okay, we just need to not fight a Giganto team. Proceed to fight a gigant one Giganto unit team. Although that kind of had a bit of both, but whatever. Anyway. But two Bisons in a row like that. I'm not saying I'm a legend, but I am broken. I'm a bit of a broken soul. This weekly has broken me. You gotta win here, right? Maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. I really... So the thing that's sticking out to me is like, maybe he should have not gone Toad? I don't know. Maybe a Lynx there would have been nice because then it gets rid of some armor. But there's times it's one of those things. Sometimes you see the... Uh, okay. Sometimes you see the weakness be very useful. Sometimes you're like, oh, I didn't really do too much. That's 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 the kind of weekly it is. Uh, I don't think our pushes are gonna be enough, be mainly because one of well, actually, I think we're gonna we're gonna win barely. This guy's gonna finish him off. Okay, okay, it was a little more than barely, but at this point, I've. I've lost a little bit of my faith. Yes. Hear me out. That way we get extra pushes, but and then extra snipes with it. But then also the giraffe starting early. Two pugs, I'm not gonna don't look at me. Don't look at me, pug. Ooh, those do those couple snipe rounds with the rhino though were sick when we first got it i did expect the rhino to have some hype hype runs early if i had seen another lemon i definitely would have changed it for the pineapple because it was it was not getting those kind of huge kills anymore so it's a little rough but we're off to a good start so i like that I like that quite a lot but i want to get another level now I think I do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what you want to see. It's a giraffe. Now do I want to have a giraffe buff you? Or a giraffe buff a giraffe that buffs an iguana? I guess for now I'll just do this. That It probably increases my win rates early. And uh, I mean we're three wins in four rounds right now. So... Maybe I just stick on that train. Oh, that's a the ox hatchling chick combo is real, and it's gonna eat me alive. It is gonna eat me alive. I mean, that's just that's the ox hatchling chick difference. I don't know what you gonna say. It's a good combo. It's a good combo. Is it good enough? For me to this, and then this, and then giraffe, please. I think I gotta take this giraffe. Okay, so next turn we'll have that. I don't think I'm clown fishing. I am doing that and this, I guess. I should be putting the level one iguana in the back. That's a mistake. I should have done that. I should have had it like that before as well. Yeah. Well. Don't snipe the. Alright, this is. This is winnable. Because you only do three. Early giraffe has been good. Level giraffe here is going to be great. And I'm taking it early too. No, it, like, I'm not really changing. Do I want to wait another turn? I actually, I really don't. I really don't want to wait another turn. I will wait another turn on, on this combination, because I'm not four squatting, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, this is weird, isn't it? 
You're gonna buff a hatchling chick that I don't care about? Because I'm doing this? I don't know. It's probably not good, but whatever. We're gonna have two level threes. We're gonna have two level threes. So then in that case, we're looking for lynx and bison. Okay, kangaroo. The bus is gonna die from the snipes, which is really good. Really great. And this is gonna kill... Okay, looking good. Five wins. Holy bright bees. All right, level. None of this? No, thank you. Wait, level again. Still no, that's not what we want. We don't want it. We want a lynx or a bison. Lynx or a bison. Okay. I, honestly, lynx and a bison, but uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna combine some hatchling chicks, and then we're gonna. Our team seems really good. Am I crazy? Say that? Oh, oh. Not quite enough snipes to kill that guy, but we just have enough stats. This doesn't matter. This team is. This team is a broken legend, maybe. Six wins in eight rounds combined? Links. Links. Links! Let's go! Can you believe it? Does it matter? I guess we could do this now, which means this is farther back. I don't actually know if that's good, actually. I take it back? Hold on, let me think about it. Do I want to buff Lynx and Iguana? Kind of. And then buff you in the front? I like this layout. A big, bigger dude in the front, even if it's temporary. Lynx is still going to be good. The Lynx is shooting for 4 and 6, 10, 11. 11 without a pineapple twice this team can't lose i'm calling it right now i'm calling right now. this team cannot lose <laughs> it's it's simply not possible your team is already dead uh, whatever the anime line is uh, you are already dead <laughs> you know the line the weebs i know there's some weebs out there and in that case i'm doing this to you i'm doing this to you I shouldn't do that. I'm kind of looking for like a pineapple. More than anything else. Yeah. There's the bison. I think I'll still do it. And then I'll go like this. It's a, it's a little strange. Maybe I don't. Maybe I go like this still. And then, but I'm not buying a cheese. Pineapple? Probably don't need that. Um. Pineapple. We could put we could put a lemon on the bison, I guess. Our team's is slightly weaker, I guess, because of the hatchling chick buff, but. The Giga team, <laughs> the Santa Giga chat, you know. I still think we can't lose this. I mean, the Link snipes are crazy. The five damage kill the bus. Like, you're already dead. It's already over. It can't be beaten. This isn't even full snipe. Well, like, it is in a way because of the push, but in another sense, it's sort of not. Pineapple. Pineapple on the Lynx. It is really all we're looking for at the moment. There is the thing of like maybe you want the the iguana a little further back in case there's some units that get spawned. But I mean this Let's see, okay, what's the lineup? I win. Calling it. I win already. You're gonna kill the chicks when they spawn. Is already boom. Is done. <laughs> this team. This team's too good.
Nine. Give me the pineapple. I just want a pineapple. Give me a pineapple. I'm not taking a... Huh? Four. One. Four. One. All right, no. The You're basically a giraffe, but you can't target, so the giraffe is just better. Uh, I'm not even taking a taco. I'm not even taking a taco. I'm not even taking a taco. There's no taco there, but I'm still not taking it. There it is! <laughs> okay. We're shooting for 11 still, but then it's actually 12 because of the pineapple. 12 twice plus a push that does 5. You're dead. You're dead. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Wait, hold on. Your ox is really big, though. Wait a second. No, you're still- you're still dead. You're still dead. You're still dead. It's over! The drought is over! Level 3 achievement with the iguana! He does it! And a level 3 achievement with the seahorse! Oh, man. The seahorse wasn't even getting buffed much, but... Which I probably should have been, because it has the lemon, so the efficacy of it having HP makes more sense than the lynx, but whatever. I'm not saying I did some insane decision making to uh, to lead to that. I mean, we got some we got some nice like too early giraffes, very early and easy to get iguanas and seahorse leveled up. We probably didn't even need to go to the bison. Probably could have stuck with what we had. I don't even remember what it was. A hatchling chick. Eh, it was probably better than a hatchling chick. But either way, we finally broke through. I will say, I mean, compared to early where I was getting the twos and the threes, I I started incre I started learning and increasing the chances of actually getting the run that gets there. And even then, I would not say this is the average. I mean, I had teams with better stats than this. You can look. I mean, look at this one. This team, some huge units. But the snipes were too much. I mean, this is only one turn later, and the difference is two big, bigger units in the front. I don't know. Either way, I'll take it. Those early wins were huge. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do another one of this week. I've already done a bunch of recordings of this week, so the next recording will be uh, Christmas, I think, because that's when the new weekly starts. Yeah, Christmas is Sunday, so I guess I'll see you for a special Christmas Super Auto Pets episode. Until then, happy holidays.